Okay, I want to show how to do the fuel estimates exercise. Uh, basically, let me do some formatting first. I'm just simply going to merge and center. And make that a little bit bigger. Just like the other ones we did. I'm going to take these. Okay. Okay. Because here's uh, for the V lookup. All right. So fuel required is going to be a V lookup. We're going to take the plane, bring it down to the chart, and look up its gas mileage, and then take that times the flying hours. So the thing that determines the gallons per hour is the type of plane. And then the table array, remember select the table without the headings, always put dollar signs. And then the third option is which column? One, two, or three, and we want three. Okay, now if we copy that down, that's nice. But this is, gives us the gas mileage. We need to actually take that times the number of hours. So this is how many gallons of fuel are burned per hour. So take that times the flying hour. And now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Now the FA requires 20% re reserve fuel for landing at an alternate airport. I believe that's what that's for. So uh, we need to have 20% of this. And I'm going to use the percent flying fuel required for reserves right here. Do I need dollar signs? Yes, I'm looking all the way down here. Oh, I hate that it does that. Holding fuel. Same thing, except we need 10% for holding around the airport. So 10% of the minimum requirement. And the same thing at H20 is going to need dollar signs. Okay, so total fuel is going simply to be the sum of these three things. Now, if you see yourself putting D4 plus E4 plus F4, and then also summing, please do not do that. You will, you will be minus a point, even though your answer looks like it's correct. Either use sum or use pluses, but not both. Okay, did I need dollar signs? No. Okay. Easy. Totals. Again, use the sum. Select the range. Oops. Well, I forgot to put the equal sign. Sum. Select the range. Drag that across. Average. Just like all the other ones. My mouse is acting very funny tonight. I think the battery is dying. It's a cordless mouse. I think the battery is dying. Maximum value is the max function, of course. I just realized that I may have goofed up my average. I did. See how I included my totals and my average? That's bad. That will throw off. So I don't want to see 11, I want to see 10 for my average. Let me recopy that across. And those decimals are way too big. Uh, 
Let's leave it like that. I just let's put a thick line underneath here. Okay. Oh, the cost. Jeez, oh man, how can I forget that? The best part. I'm going to do the format painter if it's going to work. There we go. I'm also going to fill those in. Okay, so the cost is um, right here. If you buy 4,000 gallons or more, you get a discount and pay a buck 25 a gallon. If you buy less than 4,000, you have to pay the dollar 50. So you can see by the way that that's worded that that is an if statement, an if function. Now in that last view lookup, I didn't do the little helper. I'll do the helper here. So if, what's my test? My test is going to be, is this greater than that if that's a true statement if i am buying more than four thousand then my cost per gallon is a dollar 25 else my cost per gallon is a dollar 50. do i need dollar signs yes on this orange purple and blue orange purple not blue but orange purple and green Now, of course, that's not the total cost. What do I need to do? Take that times the number of gallons I need. And I don't need dollar signs there. Easy. I know it's easy when I do it. Now i got to extend these out. I knew something wasn't quite done with this spreadsheet. And that's it.